Purple is the fur piece of flower mouth who tears right through the wood. Why, he is the lad that went higher than heaven when he found the poppy seed good. That's a bit of an old schoolyard rhyme sung by the children of the Alameda Valley here in northeast Pennsylvania. Flower mouth, it's called. Good old flower mouth. But let me tell you something. He wasn't just some legend of a couple of sing songs. He was a real man. Real as the dead buddy on my bed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ain't no dead body under my bed. That's just poor strategy, me amigo. Anyway, sorry. But he was real. And he had a story. One that you could say is uh, quite uh, intriguing. Flowermouth was a man known by the name Robert Martin. He faced many troubles in life. No job, nowhere to live. He resided in an abandoned home in Binghamton, with only one pair of clothes, a few C.S. Lewis novels, and a small baggie of heroin. As we all know, heroin is a mighty and dangerous drug that can and will destroy people, and he is never, ever okay to try. But Robert was affected only by the short-term effects of heroin, which caused one to feel a sense of euphoria, not having any terribly harmful effects yet. During his state in Euphoria, Lowermouth was driven to find more heroin. But with all his money spent on drugs and outdated Sears catalogs, he knew he'd need to make it on his own. He had once heard that heroin was made using the raisin of poppy seeds, but still on drugs, he didn't consider the fact that heroin wasn't just made straight from poppy seed resin, or that it was grown mainly throughout the Middle East or Southern Asia. So, Flowermouth traveled on foot to the mountains of Northeast and Pennsylvania to find his holy grail. It took me, uh, <clears throat> him, three days to get there, though. But because he didn't actually know what poppies looked like, he just started to eat flowers, attempting to uh, further stimulate his high. This is probably the point at which some children walked out to the backyard gardens and found Mr. Martin chewing away at the new plane of chrysanthemums. Now, he was dubbed Flower Mouth. But soon he progressed to eating berries, most of which he didn't know the likes of. One of those berries was the red berry, which he then ate half of That dumb bastard. But, miraculously, Flowermouth survived. It was the work of God, I tell ya. But the big man upstairs didn't let him go without consequences. Mm-mm. No siree. He puked blood. He shit his brains out. He came paler than the hair when he snorted a couple days back. But now that it was all out of its system, Everything was okay, except for the fact that he was lost in the woods all by himself during hunting season. Now that was bad. Bad, bad, bad. But, oddly enough, this turned out to be Flower Mouse Chance, chased down by one of the hunters throughout the woods, who was shot down by a mongoloid hillbilly named Cletus, who then pitied him, taking him home and nursing him like a baby. And they lived happily ever <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that looks like shit. It's trying to whittle a flower. <sighs> well, what can I say? By now you've probably figured me out. I'm Flower Mouth. Sue me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I never got back up on my feet after that incident with the hunter in the woods. No siree. After I did that heroin, my entire life was ruined. Don't do drugs, kids. That's basically all I can tell you. Now, all I have is this square acre tractor and a nice little barn and a mattress in it. Got this knife. I miss the flowers. Screw this. I'm gonna get my life back.